Hello everyone, this is Kelly and this is Books I'm Not Reading and today we are talking about the next book in the um, Betsy Tacey series, which is Betsy and Joe. And I apologize for my um, snarky <laughs> movie title. I am strictly talking about myself. I was a high school moron and carried it on for many, many years after high school. Um, but I, I really felt like I let some of you down that I had said, I know these high school books are maybe like a little, maybe they're starting to get to you a little bit, um, or you're not enjoying them as much as you enjoyed the earlier books, and I'm just like, oh, hold on for Betsy and Joe. And then when I read it, and this definitely could um, have something to say about what's going on in my own life. Um, I'm having a lot of challenges uh, professionally at the moment. And so I think it was harder for me to sort of go, oh, it's okay, like it's, it's, it's Betsy and Tacey and you know, just sort of write it off. Um, I, have, I have my picnic basket and my picnic blanket here. It's a little wet outside, otherwise we would have tried to do that do hope to film outside at some point this year. Um, early on in the book, uh, there's a paragraph, there was nothing like a picnic, she reflected, Betsy, Betsy reflected. If you were happy, it made you happier. If you were unhappy, it blew your troubles away. And when I read that, I just thought, oh, oh dear, like Betsy, <laughs> It would be so, wouldn't it be wonderful? Like, wouldn't we all love that if, if a picnic could uh, just, you know, uh, make everything, you know, blow our troubles away. And life's just, life's just a lot more complicated that, than that. And um, I think, like I said, just in my head where I was at and, and also, it's been a long time since I've read YA, and um, obviously I haven't been reading this series all year, but, you know, I think sometimes we expect um, YA characters to act like adults, and it's, you know, that's ridiculous. Like, like the conversation that I wanted Betsy to have with Joe in this book about why she was trying to include Tony in, you know, the kind of the crowd's activities... Um, I mean, I felt like that wasn't a terribly comp complicated conversation to have, and yet, like, she couldn't do it, and he also didn't really seem willing to listen, uh, and, but I, I just felt like the whole situation could have been so easily resolved, it's so clear that her heart is with Joe, and yet, um... Tony is like a brother to her and she's trying to protect him and she's trying to keep him safe and I feel like that's a legitimate reason to um you know want someone you know to to want to like want to say oh yeah sure I'll go to this dance with you even though it's killing me because I really want to be with this other boy <laughs> but I will involve you and include you um and I think again like like I'm pretending that they're adults because they're talking about like Don Quixote and As You Like It, Shakespeare, um, Whitman. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I just expect them to behave like adults and, and that's just, you know, it's just clearly not the case. And the other um, part of this book that I thought was just totally unnecessary, did nothing for the plot, was uh, the football scene. So... Um, or football scene after football scene after football scene. <laughs> At least that's what it felt like to me, again, in, in where I'm at. Um, and so to those of you who I said, no, just wait, just wait for Betsy and Joe, because in my head I was envisioning this book that was really just going to be about them and, and, and them going to parties and dances and their conversations and, and and it does seem like there is a lot of really good conversation we don't always get like the the details of it but um yeah so uh it was yeah it was not as much as what I was hoping for and what I had remembered however I would still encourage you like don't give up 
Um, because the next two books that we're reading in the series are Betsy and the Great World uh, and Betsy's Wedding. So I hope you will join us for those discussions in July and August. Um, so again, like Betsy and Joe, a little bit disappointing, mainly because there's been so much anticipation on um, the last three books, and I was really, really hoping for, I don't know, like just a good, a good old-fashioned high school romance without, without some of these other side notes. I will say the one thing, one part of this book that I did really enjoy was the fact that Tacey, who just has said, like, I'm just, I'm not interested in boys, like, and she does not ever fall to the sort of spell of, uh, boy craziness, um, and she, you know, she'll go with, to people with dances and stuff like that, but she's definitely not attached to anyone, and in this book is introduced to a character who is just instantly, like, nuts about her, and, uh, and yeah, like, she, it's not that she's not interested in boys, it's that, and there's nothing wrong with that, okay, <laughs> just to clarify, but, like, you know, I think she, she was showing, we're always talking about how Tib is the practical one of the three, but I think, you know, there, there was a practical side to Tacey as well, and, and, and this is just her showing it, like, yeah, like, those other people were boys, this person is man, like, uh, you know, he, He's much, much more mature and less prone to like these silly high school dramas that we've that we've kind of been in for a while. So anyway. <laughs> uh so I hope, you know, I hope that I hope that you won't give up, I guess. <laughs> if if they've been driving you nuts. Like I hope you'll keep going. Um, and after we get done with the Betsy Tacey series, we're going to read three other Deep Valley books. One is about Carney, who, um, does make an appearance in these books, and, um, and we're going to read about Winona, as well as a new Deep Valley character whose name is Emily. So, um, I'm really excited. I have not read those at all, so I have no, no idea. I won't make any promises <laughs> about what they're like, but I think that will be really fun as well. I'm going to end this video with, um, well, at least one picture of my, my Columbine plant, which is very, very happy and blooming like mad. And I also have a bloom on uh, my Clementine, or Clementine, my Clematis, I need more of this. Um, my Clematis does have a big, giant uh, white blossom on it right now. And I tried to get footage of it, so we'll see if that works in the video. Um, when the day lilies crop up, I will be there with the camera <laughs> because they do only last a day. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much, BookTube. Remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And also remember that when I refer to, you know, people being high school morons, I'm just talking about myself, okay? <laughs> so take care, BookTube. I'll talk to you soon.